Hi folks, today we are looking at The Ardent Ardier by Stan the Man from Tenacious TX Vapes. Stick around. So right guys, here we are down the table. We're just gonna have a quick, quick shifty around this. Um, you know, I'm not gonna do a good in depth, you know, look around it just to, just to quickly, cause you know, it, it's it's been out a year. So it's just a, you know, a quick rundown where it is. I mean, that's your, the back of your box there. If you wanna get a, a snapshot of that and all that kind of stuff. So you see what's in it. Um, basically, you know, slide it open, you've got, a user manual there in multi languages. Um, you also get a frosted drip tip. You can see that there, frosted drip tip. You get the actual atomizer itself. You drop that out. You get a spares box. Um, in the spares box, it'll probably be your usual stuff you got what you're going on to use. You do get a Clear screwdriver. You also get your normal. And you've got screws, spare 510, springs, o rings, all that usual stuff. So that's basically what comes in the box, folks. Um, having a look at the the mod itself. I'll just see if I can get the top cap off for you. Right, it is black, so. I do apologize if you can't really see inside it there, but you know, not really domed. It has got rounded edge, but uh, you know that's where it is. And obviously you've got this nice pattern on the top. Uh, you see it. This will take you know the drip tips. You've got this in, but there is an O-ring on the inside as well as on the actual drip tip, so you can use your own. The deck itself. You know, it's the usual stuff. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in a bit so you can see what we're going on here. Well, uh, let's see if we can get we zoomed in a bit. Well, uh, we're working here or what? We're coming. There we are, we're coming. Let's see what we've got here. Right, there's your deck. It's like two screwdriver, two screwdriver, two screw clamping system here and here. You've got like these castle type clamps, they lift up, you put your coil in across here, same on the other side across here, clamp it down. Now the one thing that I've noticed with this is all these air holes now are honeycomb, all in here and all in here. On the old one, you just had one, two, three round holes here and three round holes on this side as well. So when the chains that I don't know, that's why I decided to have a look at it. Because when I was looking at other pictures of it, the, the air hole configuration here was totally different. So they've now obviously done like, you know, multi-hole honeycomb style, um, probably for a smoother vape. And you know, the, the, the decks are, the clamps are still the same, they've just changed the the honeycomb, so that's why I thought, well, I'll give it a quick once over, you know what I mean? Just see, I don't know, see, I don't know if they released a version 2 or a version 1.5, but this is definitely different. Um, I'll stick a picture up there, if, if, if we can get a, a picture to pop on the screen round about now, I'll stick a picture of the old one. Um, and yeah, you can see the difference, so I don't know when this happened. Um, I like I said, this was brought out last year to go um, with the Dreamer, um, to fit on the Dreamer Hybrid. Um, and it didn't have all that, so, you know, I'm just um, wondering when that happened, kind of thing, you know what I mean? Because, um, I'll just zoom it back out a bit. I think my battery's just going on me bloody remote. I'll bring it back out. But yeah, like I said, um, <clears throat> The, the, the airflow has changed. It's still the same place. They've just replaced three holes with more of a honeycomb type of thing. Um, so yeah, but the, the main reason I bought, I mean, you can use it as an RD, as you can see, but the main reason I bought this guy was simply for this 
um, you can do this. You take out the 510, like so. Drop that down there, so don't lose it obviously. Unscrew that. And what you get is that. That is your hybrid connection. This here basically screws straight into the mod. Battery hits that and you've got you know a full hybrid connection on your on your your keen, your times very keen, but I bought this mainly to use it like this on the most recent release, um, which was the heavy hitter. And apparently this fits the heavy hitter, so this is my reason for doing this. So obviously, you know, when we go back up top and that, this is going to be connected to the heavy hitter. Um, just right now, I thought I'd just show you around it, like I said. You can still use it as an RDA, you know, put that on, didn't crank them down because honestly you'll never get it apart. Put your screw back in, again, you know, didn't crank it down, just a little nip and that's all you need folks and there it is. That is the Ardent 27mm RDA. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not going to show you nothing on, you know, I'm not going to put a build, you know, if, you, if, if you're good at building, you, you'll know, you know, you've clamped, you coil there, coil there, two clamps, you, you'll know the score, you know, with building it. Um, so I'm not really going to film a build as such, so what I'll do, we'll, we'll hire a build on it, and then we'll chuck it back up top, and then, um, yeah, see where we are with this different airflow. See you in a bit. So there you have it. That was the down at the table stuff and a quick build. And um, I've got it here, just sitting in odd year mode at the moment. I've got it on top of the the Aegis Legend, the original one. Um, and as you can see, that's a 27 RDA and it sits really nicely on that. There's no overhang. So this is just I've just got this set here to show you the the RDA setup. Um, Build coming out at 0.14 and um, 100 watts. And if you can see that, I am vaping on some of this Costa vanilla, and um, it's not too bad. Um, <coughs> and we'll give it a toot. I'll give you a fair one if I do have a coffin fit. I have a horrible chest this morning, it's ugh, really chesty, a bit of heartburn. So I'm trying to soldier on just for you guys. So let's give it a toot, yeah. Wow. Jesus Christ. Fucking the fucking vapor this thing produces is fucking unbelievable. And I haven't even got I haven't even got it up turned up fully open, you know what I mean? It's just uh Jesus Christ. I've got the airflow, I've got the airflow turned down a bit, but we'll, we'll crank it up to full airflow, yeah. We'll do that. There we go. Just to give you a better idea what this thing can do. That's your airflow there. It's like fully open now. So again, another two tough. Jesus. Jesus. Whew. I'm sorry you can hear the background noise because I've literally had to open the fucking window because there's a main road out there and honestly I was just clouding this room out. You couldn't can you actually see it? You couldn't see it at all before. Um But there you have it guys, you know. Um even though it's a 27 mil RDA, the flavour of it is still pretty damn good. It's not mind blowing because obviously the size, but it's still fucking good. But there it is in RDA mode. Now the main reason that I bought this is because I recently I put that there as I recently purchased this fella. 
a hard hitter again combination by these guys you know I've, I've got the box up here um, just done oh yeah bastard just recently done a, a review you know the heavy hitter mechanical mod by heavy metal vapor tenacious and obviously you no know, standard tenacious and obviously uh, times vape so and this is this is it and the, and the reason that I'm, hang on I'm gonna have to get up now Fucking too old now. The reason I bought this device for this is because of this. I've got the, got the battery there, that's the new Molly cell that goes in that. Right, it's fully charged. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off here, like so, set it in the side. I'm now going to remove the 510. Get it to come out like so. Right. Make sure you don't lose these pieces around your thing and take this apart. And there's your 510 out. Put him there as well. I hope Mr. Screwed over there. And then I'm going to unscrew this. Revealing that. So apparently this came out about a year ago. Like I said, it's a bit of a revisited review. Um, they've obviously changed something, but we'll talk a little bit about that as we go on but my main reason was this right if you put this set that aside right you take off your top cap from your heavy hitter this fella sits straight on there and that now becomes a full hybrid that is the reason i bought this um no, I've, I've set up on a regulated mod, so I know obviously the resistance, etc. It's 0.14, which is, you know, more than enough for this. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a drip, just in case, you know, this thing here uh, kind of, hoo -hoo. You know, I don't want this thing to, uh, to go off without a drip. Dry hit. No, 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 no. Don't want no dry hits will stay to my chest today. No, thank you. So. A bit of a drip on that, and now, therefore, yeah, fully open. Let's give it a go on this fella, eh? Fucking wow! <laughs> Holy moly! That and that configuration is a fucking unbelievable setup because when you're taking that out you know you're taking you're taking a big lump of copper out of the situation there so that now that battery is now sitting bang on the button straight on to that RDA it's straight on and obviously with it screwing the body it's using the, the body as your negative so it's, it's a direct hit onto you know the RDA my god what a difference Jesus Fucking head straight away, no delay, no nothing. It, it's just there, it, just no misfires, anything at all. It's my god, I can't stop being it. But <coughs> fucking hell, I better give over before I totally fucking smog root. That is why I bought it. That there is now going to sit there as a permanent resident on the top of that guy. I didn't use the original drip tips because I, I thought the bore was a little bit small. So this here is actually the drip tip off me Fatality M25, which died on us. So I've, I've snuffled the drip tip off it and I think it looks bloody damn good on there as well. Look, because I love this drip tip off, off the off the M25. It's, it's just so comfortable. It's, I, don't know, I like the little edge where it comes off, the tape is round. It does look, you know, that looks really good the way that tape is absolutely lovely. That is my reason for buying that, right? Um, pros and cons with obviously the size. Um, you know, you do need a mod, like I said, yeah, the Vegas Legend, you know, that accommodates it, no bother. You need a mod big enough to accommodate it if you're going to use it as a dripper on a, on a you know, mainstream regulated mod. Um, 
flavour of it's really, 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 really good for the size of it. It's absolutely banging. In fact, it's better like that, I think. You know, it's just so much better. Um, you know, because this is what it was made for. And absolutely love it. Um, the only other thing, the cons with it, I suppose, are... It, do, it doesn't have a squonk pit. It's not, it's not a squonky one. It's just purely a dripper. And the reason for that is obviously... You know, you can't squonk, put a squonk when you're going to screw it directly onto a mech mod and make it into a full hybrid. That, that's, that could be a con for some people because, like I said, they might just want to, you know, use it as a squonker. Um, so you're not going to be able to use it as a squonker, unfortunately. Um, building on it can be fucking fiddly. Um, you know, when you're sharing a post with two coils and you want to keep a hold of them and tighten up at the same time. Um, it can be a bit fiddly, I would, you know, wouldn't really say it's for the beginner or anything like that. Um, obviously, especially not these, either. these are for beginners. Um, but bar that, there's nothing much to complain about. Um, but the, the, reason, the other reason I've done this um, was I think I, like I showed you on the table. When I, when I popped that picture up, the airflow is different. From when it came out, um, when it came out, it just had like it just had like three holes here and three holes in there. So you know, yeah, it was getting directed up. It's still getting directed up the same place. But now they've got this honeycomb type loads of holes. So I don't know when they actually done that. You know, there was there was nothing, you know, announced as such. Um, and I don't know when they done that. So that's kind of why I did do a little bit of a, a, a light review on it. You know, I mean. Um, because I don't know, you know, is it a version 1.5, a version 2? You know, there was, there was nothing announced or released. It just seems to, um, you know, the newer ones have got this this honeycomb type hold airflow design. I mean, it's still the same. It still comes up at an angle. It's still exactly the same, but there's just more holes. Um, and I've never really vaped on the original. So if it's an improvement or not, maybe it is because obviously... You know, the more little holes you smoother your you smoother your draw will be. So like I said, I don't know when they actually changed that, but for me, you know, it's it's for this. It's 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 made for this. Yes, you can use it as a normal dripper, but that's that's its purpose. So if you've got heavy hitter, dreamer, you know, or any of the you know the mech mods by Stan, these should fit them. And when they go on, what a difference. Unbelievable, honestly. Fuck. The flavour of it as well, for the size of it, you know, when you think of all this the big top cap, you know, you think of all the vapor plop about and get condensed and, and the flavour be muted a bit, but you know, no, it's it's absolutely spot on for what it is. Not the best floor, not the best flavour, you know, it's not mind blown, but it's there. Um, and obviously you've seen the, the clouds of it, Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm not even pushing this, you know, I've just got like a 0.15 building, um, which is, you know, about where I like to vape anyway on a mech, um, like a tube style mech. And oh, it's, it's, it's not even really a hot vape, it's just a nice warm vape. It's not a hot vape, it's just a nice warm vape. And that's why it's so, so bloody good. Fuck. I mean that this custard, right? This custard, right? It's not the best custard in the world, right? It's it's not. Um, it's very vanilla. -y. There's not much cream in, but it's making this taste fabulous. You know what I mean? So, if you get a, your favourite juice and drop it in that in that configuration, wow, just fucking wow. Um, but anyway, I better wrap this up. It was a gush, a gush fest. Like I say, I know the idea has been out about a year. Um, but I thought, you know, with the, the release of this, um, and obviously that went on the Dreamer, it fits on this, so to me it's still got a purpose a year on, you know, um, and, you know, the have changed it, so I'm assuming, you know, it will be an, 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 it will be an improvement on the old one, you know, from the old three horse to a nice little honeycomb whole thing, so, yeah, 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 all the way. If you've got one of these mechs 
or the Dreamer mech, get one of these and just leave it there. Because that, you know, you can see what a, what a cracking setup. Absolutely lovely. But anyway, I better stop babbling now because I'm just getting, you know, in no gush fest. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll wrap this one up. Um, please, 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 you know, the usual before I go, please, you know, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Um, head on over to my Facebook. I have a Facebook page, I have a Facebook group. And if you do want to support the channel, please buy me a coffee. You know, there's a link in the, in the all the links are in the description there below. So, with all that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for your time. I've been Kenny, the Vape and Heed. Stay safe, vape safe, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Cheers now. Bye.